What's good, you guys? You know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this mother. Yes, sir. All right, man. So your boy didn't quite make the 10 videos yesterday, so I'm picking up from it early this morning. I know I said I was going to drop 10 videos yesterday. I know that. But things came up, but I'm back at it early this morning. It's 7 on 7 a.m. I'm still dropping content. I went to the store and got me a coffee. Uh, I'm still under the weather, so I needed the coffee to, to warm my throat up. Pause. But yeah, I'm feeling a whole lot better getting over this cold. All right, so we got Cat Williams revealing how Diddy tried to seduce him and sleep with him for 50 million for one night. <laughs> Cat about to, re he about to expose Diddy. 50 million dollars for one night stand, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Diddy's a butt monster, bro. All right, we gonna get into it. It's spicy. <laughs> Y'all, not Cat Hold up, Williams. volume, volume. Where my volume at? Jumping into the Diddy situation and spilling some crazy tea about how Diddy tried to seduce him? Girl, the more we learn about Diddy and his situation, the more we realize just how messed up everything is behind the scenes. <laughs> And at this point, it really seems like Diddy was trying to sleep with half the men in Hollywood. And y'all can trust the whole Cat Hollywood. to spill the tea on that because that's exactly what he did. Uh, did Diddy really try to pay Cat 50 million for a one night stand? Now, Cat Williams is one person in the industry that you do not want to mess with because he will expose you. He's not the type to play games or hide any shady secrets about the industry because he is going to spill every time. And that's exactly what he is doing to Diddy because he just exposed Diddy for trying to hook up with him. Girl, at this point, it's safe to say that Diddy ain't ever beaten the allegations of him being on the DL. Cause child, there have been way too many people coming out to say that Diddy tried to sleep with them or forced them to sleep with him. And the rumors have been around for ages, even though Diddy has gone over and beyond to hide the secret. He literally got Wendy Williams fired in the 90s because she tried to expose him for being on the DL. There was a radio personality once upon a time, her name was Wendy Williams, and uh, she was practically burned at the stake talking about such. But you can't hide in an industry as big as Hollywood. And as expected, rumors started to go around of his secret shenanigans with men, even with those in the industry. For example, rapper Exhibit once told the story of how Diddy took him out for a fun time, only for them to end up in a gay bar. He claimed that Diddy never told him that they were going to a gay bar. And once they were there, Exhibit was so shaken that he ran away from the bar, leaving Diddy at the venue. We go down and get a drink. You know, we sitting there bobbing to the music, and then she say, she point over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, the f this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Then there's girls in the club too, and then she point another direction. It's another dude over there, like butt naked dancing. Well, I've been. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Exhibit was not the only rapper that Diddy tried to put moves on, because Fifty Cent also claimed that Diddy tried to take him shopping as a way to seduce him and get him into his bed. So yo, when we gonna get the chance to you know to kick it, like we could just hang out. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Paul. Okay. You telling me we gotta kick it? And he's like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or something? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what the this just say. <laughs> <laughs> There's also the time he went on the Breakfast Club and said that Diddy was fruity. When they do, when he do it, he says <laughs> things. He doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. And that's not all because his former bodyguard Gene also spilled the tea on Diddy's escapades with men. And he said, yo, Gene. Watch the door, don't let nobody come through here. And I said, I watched the door. If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked, and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. And speaking of Gene, he also spilled the tea about how the freak offs that Diddy had with Cassie were actually for Diddy's benefit and not Cassie, because Diddy was on the DL and he loved his escapades with men. And she say that, you know, in this lawsuit that, you know, Diddy, he enjoyed watching her get smashed by BBCs. So, you know, what you think about that? Do you think she was the only one getting banged by him? <laughs> Do you think this man had this woman search for prostitutes online just for them to have s with her? He also nah, went on to say this. I don't think that. Cassie wasn't the only one who wanted, or she didn't want it, but Cassie who searched for the big black, and she was searching for the big black, not only for herself, but 
for somebody else who we all know that was in the room with her. So if he want to see it and he want her to touch it, he might, that other person in the room with her just might want to feel it, allegedly. <laughs> so you feel like Diddy was having sex with the male prostitutes? They had to be for both of them. They was in the room. Right? You're right. It's a freak off session. Gene also claimed that he used to witness Diddy doing some interesting things to and with men in the industry. And as it turns out, Diddy also made moves towards Cat Williams and Cat recently spilled the tea. In a new interview, Cat told the story of how Diddy tried to put moves on him for a very long time. He claimed that Diddy tried to seduce him for years and get him in his bed. And when that didn't work, he then threw his money around and offered him $50 million. I've had to turn down $50 million four times four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say them yeah, so can't, freely. Can't, can't, Boy, just how desperate was Damn. Diddy to get Cat in his bed because 50 million for a one night stand is just insane. And is it just me or does it seem like Diddy enjoys the chase? Cat's revelations had fans shook and they left comments saying, that was heartbreaking. This is very disappointing and not funny at all. Nah. These slimes are all destroying the black community for Hollywood. Cat been exposed in Hollywood, but people called him crazy. He told us about those parties in Hollywood. A lot of your favorite actors and musicians are involved in some sinister stuff, especially involving children. A lot of people are not ready for the truth and to think that even being a grown a man with muscles still isn't safe in Hollywood, what chance do women have? This situation is crazy, but y'all let me know what your thoughts are about this situation and- Man, that's crazy. Daddy trying to give Cat $50 million for one night of booty pleasure. Now, in one of my Diddy videos, I said Diddy was a butt monster. <laughs> and y'all laughed at me. But well, y'all laughed at the, at the uh, alleged <laughs> things I've said. But, y'all, Cat said he turned down 50 million four times. And one of them was Diddy. He said, hey, look, but Diddy, you got to tell him no. But we all know there's some people that will sell their integrity, their souls, and everything else for a dollar. Shout out to Cat Williams, man, for standing for what he stand for and telling Diddy no and saving his butt muscles some trouble. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. It's getting worse and worse. It's getting worse and worse for your boy Diddy, man. Worse and worse. And I believe it's going to be some more that's going to come out against Diddy. Once again, shout out to Cat Williams for standing for on his truths, standing on business and being who we are and spreading the news for us and letting us know what goes on behind the scenes and the scenes in Holly Weird. All right. So, you guys, man, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, man. We on the world to 100,000 subs. We need the plaque to go right back there on the wall, right beside the Philadelphia Eagles um, apparel. Yes, yeah, sir.